I made the uh, investment in, in health informatics about a decade ago. Uh, when I could see that um, you, there was this wave of data about to hit health and I believed at that time that th that data would impact health or uh, the, the healthcare delivery model uh, in a significant way and uh, I, I believed that clinicians needed to drive um, where technology would take us rather than relying on the IT industry to determine that for us. There's an explosion of uh, data in healthcare, and never before in the history of, of medicine has data been more important. In fact, health is producing more data than any other industry in the world. The role of IT companies and uh, the ability for clinicians to direct those uh, IT companies into delivering tools that will help uh, clinicians and patients make sense of that data is an important thing. So, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, until you can understand what it's like to be a clinician, a nurse on the ward, a community care worker out at a patient's home, and understand what information is important and how you'd like it presented to you, um, it's very difficult to design a, a, a system. Now, uh, you know, there's some great uh, examples of where clinicians have actually driven the agenda. In fact, Microsoft acquired a technology called uh, MedStory, medstory.com is a search engine that's been customized specifically for health searches and it was built by doctors. Yes, there's this, this explosion in data, but it doesn't mean it's available. It's very difficult for a clinician to actually get access to that data. And even if they've got access, it's very hard to mine that data uh, for the information that they're after. That's either they're overwhelmed by the volume or when they are um, trying to interface with the tools that have been given to them, um, there's too many logons, uh, it's not intuitive where the data is, is, is kept, and if you can't provide quick response times to somebody trying to get data, they're going to walk away from the tool and go back, go back to what they were doing. Yeah. So I believe that the impact that health informatics will have on healthcare delivery will be the same impact that the advent of penicillin had. When you've got, uh, you know, right now, I talked about that explosion in evidence for care, Currently, there's about 300,000 clinical trials taking place in the world. I'm told there's something in the order of 1.8 million journal articles written every year because, believe you me, I haven't read that many. Nobody is able to really keep up. And, you know, if you look at how uh, the health system is responding to this explosion in evidence for cares, it's responding by super specialization. So now your specialists are becoming even f more specialized and that actually creates more of a challenge for the health system because now you've got even further fragmentation of expertise. If you have a realistic expectation about the pace at which the health system can embrace change, you won't be frustrated. And if you take that as your filter and you see the incremental gains that are happening and there's some significant gains that are steps towards where we need to go, uh, you'll have a wonderful journey. To be part of this transformation from an inefficient, uh, reactive, uh, p uh, quality challenged uh, environment to one that's preemptive, deliver delivers better care, is more interested in the patient journey, in a holistic approach towards patient, empowering the right type of decisions, making sure that mistakes are picked up early. This is brilliant stuff to be working on. You know, this is like uh, uh, I mentioned it earlier, this is bringing penicillin to the market and seeing what will happen.